Welcome back to another short Pro Tools tutorial. In this video I want to look at two useful editing features, Replace Clip and Fit to Selection. At the time of making this video, both of these features are Pro Tools HD only, but Avid do seem to be adding a number of HD features into the native software, so it wouldn't surprise me if they appear there at some point in the near future. So the first one, Replace Clip. In this session we have a couple of tracks of gunshots and a rough placeholder sound effect has been put in place. As you can hear, it sounds very thin at the moment. So that would certainly benefit from being swapped for something a lot more substantial. So I've created this, and that's going to be the replacement sound. So to use replace clip, firstly, select the original clip on the timeline. Secondly, find the one you want to swap it for in the clip list. If you need to audition it, you can hold down the option key. Then hold down command and shift and drag the new one over the original clip and then release the mouse. So it brings up the replace clip dialog, tells you the original clip name, the replacement clip name and you have some options here. You can swap either the original clip only, in fact let me just do that. So there you can see we swapped that instance of it for the new one. But it's more useful really when you swap in multiple instances. So here we've got several iterations of the gunshot not just on that track but also on the one below it and so I'll do the same again command shift drag it one of the options is to replace all instances of the clip either on that track only or all tracks so I'll choose all tracks and then you have the option of how it fits the clip using the replacement clip length original clip length or the selection length so I'm just going to keep it with replacement clip length and there you can see it swapped every single instance of that gunshot. So this is really useful in post-production where you want to swap a sound effect in this way. I would say that it probably works best with sounds with a quick transient attack like gunshots or door slams but it may work for other content as well. So the other feature I'd like to mention is fit to selection. So let's say for example we have, let's take this sound effect. Okay. If I wanted to fit that into a timeline selection, there's various ways we could do that. You know, we could use the time compression expansion trim tool or we could use elastic audio, but there is one other way which you can do it automatically when you drag it from the clip list. So let's say for example, I'd identified a section in the video which was that long and of course you can see that there's a difference with the uh, clip length. So if you want to automatically time compress the audio which you drag from the clip list into the timeline selection, hold down command and option, drag the clip, and again you can see that yellow border, but this time when you release the mouse, it will time compress or expand it to fit the selection. Now you can hear some processing artifacts there, and if you look at the clip name, it's used the Avid Time Shift plugin. So the plugin that which this actually uses is dictated by a preference which is under processing, TCE plugin. So I'll try it with the Avid uh, TCE plugin itself. Make a new selection, see if we get a better result. Make sure I drag the original and not the already processed version. So I'm holding down command option, drag the new one in. Let's see how that one sounds. This would probably be better with Xform. But in this version of Pro Tools, I've identified a little problem with this in that it doesn't actually work. So Xform should do a better job. It might take a little bit longer to process, but the results would sound a lot less artifacty, if that's even a word. Um, but as you'll see here, I'm using Pro Tools 11.32, and at the moment, it doesn't work, although it should do. So if you're using a different version of Pro Tools, Pro Tools 12 or some later version, that probably will work. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.